If elected, what would you do to help continue to promote job growth and grow Florida's economy? Florida's economy is very, very essential. I think a very important catalyst is education. I think that we need to provide more education in as far as vocational and technical training so that we would have a ready workforce for businesses that are looking to relocate to Florida. Transportation is also vital because Florida has a lot of seaports, airports, which provide traffic for products being shipped worldwide and locally. How would you improve Florida's health care situation? Well, one of the major problems in our health care is readmission. Uh, research shows that 15 to 25 percent of the individuals who are discharged from hospitals would be readmitted to the hospital within 30 days or less, adding millions of dollars to our health care spending. Many of these readmissions could be prevented through simple low-cost intervention. Medicare and many health insurance companies do not pay for these services. One solution is medical homes. Explicitly focus their efforts on improving out uh, customers, uh, controlling costs by reducing preventable hospital admission and readmission, emergency room visits. The largest number of hospital readmission access are due to patients with chronic diseases. With better patient education and self-management support coordination of services, hospital admission rates for these patients can be dramatically reduced. Also, simplifying administration of the administrative system, which uh, burdens uh, doctors and uh, customers in as far as paperwork, diet, education, hygiene, exercises would also help reduce the cost of our health care. What challenges do you see in Florida's K-12 education system? And if elected, what would you do to address those challenges? Speaking to a lot of my constituents, there is a, a lot of resentment against Common Core. What I find is that right now, the way we're educating our children is basically to think out of the box. But five and five always equals 10. So if you format it to four different ways of solving the problem, it just makes it more complex. The parents aren't able to help the children with the education because of the fact being that a lot of them do not understand. Many of the teachers don't understand the problems. I think teachers are qualified, certified to teach. They are the ones that have a best gauge of educating our children. We have too many administrators. We do not pay our teachers well enough. A lot of them have to bring school supplies into the schools. I think that that's really a shame that we have the best country in the world, but yet our education system is lacking. Uh, many people have graduated from our public school system. One of them is Michael Dell. Another one was Steve Jobs. Another one was Warren Buffett. These individuals graduated from the public school system that was successful. We don't need to reinvent the wheel. We just have to make it better. My name is Ramon Gutierrez. I am running for Florida State House of Representatives, District 35. Please visit my website at voteforramon.com. Thank you very much, and God bless America.